Hello, and welcome to this session of Lighthouse Studio Qigong with David and Marilyn. I'm David, and today's session will be Chair Qigong. Yes, you can do all of the exercises, almost all the exercises, I'd say 90 plus percent of all of the Qigong exercises that you see on David and Marilyn Qigong, they can be done seated in a chair, a modification. This is really important to keep your Qigong practice going. If you've had some surgeries, foot surgery, knee surgery, you can even work with uh, any, any body part, <coughs> modifying uh, the exercise, the Qigong exercise for your limitations until you get back on your feet or if this is the way that you want to do Qigong. Marilyn and I have been asked to do this video since the beginning of our YouTube channel almost two years ago. So here it is. For those of you that want to do chair Qigong, we are doing chair Qigong. So let's start by just a gentle rotation. Very gentle. Hands up by the face. Just taking some nice deep breaths. Just relaxing into the moment. You should pick a chair that you can keep your back off the chair, if possible. Um, your feet firmly placed on the ground for that earthing quality with the energy of yin from the earth, which is very self-healing. Let's bring the hands right about chest level. This opens up the mid back. And if you're modifying this for an upper body problem, or maybe you've had uh, some hip surgery, just be gentle, never go into pain or discomfort with any of the exercises that we do in Qigong. That's very important. Uh, pain and discomfort is not good uh, for the body. Your body tells you it doesn't want you to do it when you have pain. So we just modify. We don't go as deep into the stretch. Qigong is about the gradual increase in flexibility over time and repetition. I'll say that again because it is so important in this practice, especially if you're dealing with uh, recovery from surgery or an illness. Do not go into pain or discomfort. Listen to your body. It's telling you the truth. Let's bring the hands right about waist level. Taking some nice deep breaths. And then relax. You can just come to surrender hands with your hands just gently resting on your thighs, either palm up or palm down. I have mine palm up. And notice how your body feels. Just a very gentle opening. So from here, we go into an exercise called spinal cord breathing. We make a light fist with our hands, allow them to rest on our thighs. Notice your feet connected to the earth. Notice the top of your head connected to the sun, the stars, the universe. And from here we begin just inhaling up. And if it feels comfortable, you can arch your spine a little bit. Then as you exhale, you come down bringing your elbows close together, tucking in your chin, squeezing your abs like you're doing a sitting sit-up, and then inhale up, getting into your own flow as you do this, listening to your body. We call this moving at the speed of awareness, moving at the speed of awareness, the awareness of the sensations of your body stretching. So now this next inhale, if you're mirroring me, you're gonna to twist to your left leg as you come up. Again, no pain, no discomfort, modify or don't do this part. And then inhale, twist to the other side, back and forth. Listening to your body, modifying the exercise, all the exercises necessary.
We'll do one more. Inhale, twist and open. Exhale, and just calm down. Fingers pointed at each other. Backs of your hands resting on your thighs. A modified surrender hands posture. And notice how your body feels. Gentle stretching. So let's work with just a little bit of the neck and shoulder area. And again, if you're having to modify, listen to your body. We're just gonna place our hands, palms on our knees, and we're just gonna gently twist. If you're marrying me, you're twisting to your right. Exhaling, coming back to center. Nice deep inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Let's just do this a few times. Feel that stretch in your body, noticing where you're feeling the stretch. One more. Inhale, exhale as you stretch and twist. Inhale to center. And again, noticing how you feel. From here, we go into a flowing exercise. This is a seated version of opening the flow. If you've been watching Marilyn's Shibashi Qigong videos on YouTube, you'll notice that she begins the Shibashi flow with opening the flow. It's a Tai Chi exercise. So this is a modified version of opening the flow. So we just bring our hands down to our sides and then we inhale the hands up, right about face level, palms facing forward. Exhale as the hands come down. And you can get a little bit of flow in this, a little bit of movement in your spine if that feels comfortable. A little bit of gentle undulation, getting the synovial fluid moving in the joints of your body for self-healing. Qigong is a self-healing practice. You don't need any equipment. You don't even need me. You just need to learn the exercises and do them. You can watch this video once and you've got everything you need to help you on your healing journey. Let's do one more. So we inhale the hands up, and then we exhale the hands down to that surrender hands modified position, backs of the hands resting on the thighs. Notice how your body feels. Just take a nice deep breath here. You can even use the heart whisper sound, that deep sigh, that ah, just to come in the moment with your body. The last exercise that we're going to do on this brief uh, chair qigong flow is pulling down the heavens. This is a great exercise if you've had trouble sleeping. Um, it vents the energy from the brain. Uh, it takes all that chi that the monkey mind is using to drive you crazy at times and it vents it down into the belly where your physical body can use it um, for digestion. All right, so we begin by inhaling the hands up. And then as we exhale, we point the fingertips at each other and exhale, come down, all the way down. Just inhaling up, exhaling, pointing the fingertips at each other, Exhaling down, just flow with this for a bit. Venting the chi from the brain down through the body and into the belly. Our brains weigh about eight pounds, but they use 25% of our body's energy. 25% of the chi is used by the brain. So when we're getting ready to go to bed, or just to take a rest, if we need just to rest during the day, we can do this exercise, pulling down the heavens, 
to bring that chi down from the brain or your mind can still and your body can use the energy for digestion. Let's do one more, inhaling up and exhaling as you come down and then that modified surrender hands and notice how you feel. To close this chair qigong routine, let's bring our hands to prayer position at the Lotus Heart Jewel. This is our middle treasure, the energy of our emotions, bowing our heads, quiet, patient. And if we're going through some sort of an illness or surgery, and we're doing this exercise in the chair because of it, patience, patience, patience. Trust, trust the ability of your body to heal. And love, love your body. Blessings and love. Thank you for joining me for Chair Qigong from the Lighthouse Studio. Blessings and love. Namaste.